American ginseng, but also I'm doing some hunting and some just scouting because I want to go an elk. So say you wanted to call that animal in. First thing you need to do, it's called um, herbivore bait. Okay, just release the button. Now watch that animal. As soon as I release him. So that's the best way to call them animals in. If you got that herb bait, if you want to take big, big, big animals. I might take this one instead of that other cow. Uh, I got two cow. If you watch the right side of the upper screen, it'll show you if it's a pristine or good pelt. It ain't really worth keeping a good cat because you can only carry one of these stupid things. It's good elk pelt, so definitely keep this. <clears throat> and I recommend killing turkeys because you can improve arrow flight with the turkey feathers, as you can see there. So what I'll do is I'll drop this pelt since it's way better. This pelt is a poor pelt because I kind of filled it full of holes. Oh, well, let's see. Yeah, if it's good, I'm going to have two good, but oh, uh, heck. I just guess I'll have two elk pellets, but I got meat anyhow, and that's the main thing. And also, if you want to find signs or plants, now I'm going to take you to a spot where I know some, the best ginseng, and of course, you know, ginseng grew it in beds back in these days, in the early 1800s. They found beds of ginseng, actually play it, you know, and look around for rare things, because there's all kinds of little nuggets in the game. You know, explore a little bit. Don't be afraid to look around because you can find some cool stuff. You can find moonshiners. You can find all kinds of surprise. Now, see, here's another little thing. Horses. You can tame horses. There's a whole team of horses up here. Don't be afraid to hit that every now and then because you'll see rare plants glittering. So there's a bunch of horses up on it. So let's see what kind of plants these are. And you can find them. It's a herb, so it's an herb I haven't got. And you wouldn't find it unless you didn't have that oregano. So see, you can pick all that, and they're good. You can keep them for crafting crafting items. I pick as much as I can. And then you can eat a little bit, too, if you want. Oregano. It grows about everywhere, That I think, in the early part of the game. The ginseng is really uh, kind of hard to find if you want to know the truth yeah now here's something here see a berry a different type of berry a wintergreen berry yeah I've heard of them they're kind of must be kind of rare because I don't see anymore these carrots seem to be kind of common these wild carrots I mean they're really good too you can feed them to your horse and it helps your horse bring up some of these core now what I'm saying about core is that central thing. Do you see the, like my dead eye where it's depleted red? And the only way to bring up your core is actually, is actually the only way to bring up your core is right there. Eating certain things. And see, like cheese will bring it up, salt. There ain't hardly, moonshine really uh, don't do nothing. I mean, you need something to bring up your core. You can eat. Now, I guess you could eat plants, I guess, to help bring up your core if you wanted to. So let's go onward and upwards. Look, that, that deer was that horse to stand there. Wow. <laughs> so hey come back now if you use the improved feathers I'm out dead I say I wasted that air so that was a beautiful shot right there 
right in the back. Wait a minute. There's something here. Oh, I've seen this before. You want to buy all this stuff. Pick it, I mean, not buy it. Well, you might as well be buying it. I'd like to talk a little bit about American Ginseng, since that's the title. American Ginseng is probably one of the rarest things today. But back in the early, the reason the federal government put such a restriction, because people dug it out. It growed in beds. I mean, it growed in beds in the wild, in forests. And I guess if you go to the mountains of West Virginia and stuff, you can still find big beds. Now, I fully mastered my horse. Now, I will say something about the horse. It's not a good idea not to carry a horse survivor. That's one of the first things you want to do is get horse survivor because it'd be a shame to lose your horse. Revive your horse. And if you get in a firefight, it's best if you don't think you can get away. Whatever you do, just send, make you tell your horse to flee. Now, here's some berries. Now, I picked these kind of berries here before. They're good to make like baits. Uh, herbivore baits, bear. Look at the view. My God, the view in this game is exquisite, yummy, altogether yummy. But this is kind of like my uh, video. You won't find too much ginseng, though. I'll just be honest with you. Now, where you see smoke, there's something going on. I'll be. I'll just tell you. But they're usually like little surprises. So, see, sometimes you can't see it, sometimes you can't, so it's hard to tell what's up here. I don't think it's here now. So, see, they, you got to interact with them fast or they or they disappear on you. Yeah, I don't even see it now. Yeah, there it is. It's over at Ridge. Let's go up there and take a look. Now, it might be gang members. If it is, I'll just I want to be careful here because my core is pretty depleted. Let's go ahead and take some of this. This will shock me up a little bit boost and I'll boost my uh, food a little bit with a little food that'll help my core it didn't though uh, that'll help my core yeah see my core turn from uh, whiten up that means you can mark your enemies now I'm gonna leave my my horse here because if you die you can tell him to stay if you want You don't want to get too close. Some of these people, some of these people will, uh, some of these guys are crazy. So let's go up here to this camp and see what they are. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not. If you're planning on doing a robbery, make sure that you wear a bandana. Could be just a bear hunter because I don't see nobody. So, see, he's got some valuables here. Hog time. Just leave him tied up. See, you won't be a safe. You don't have to kill him, but you, you know, you can. And I'm not gonna kill him, but you can get be dishonored. He's a herbalist. I can tell you that. <laughs> he says, "Damn it!" So he don't have much. I haven't tried to take anybody down yet, and uh, and you can steal his hat even if you want. Here, here, old buddy, I'll steal your hat and leave you mine. All right. Oh shit. Yep, there went down my thing, but that's okay. <laughs> so once you actually kill him, you might as well put it away. So he knocked my new white hat off. 
I don't want that. So the, yeah, if you want to too, you can uh, craft. You can craft a little bit of. Uh, you can potential horse medicine. You can do it fast by holding the X down. I guess this is my kind of like do all. And uh, there's all kinds of things you can do here. Like uh, let's uh, plain venison. Mint. Snake oils. You can make explosive bullets. I kind of like the flame arrows. So improved air flight. Now here's something that's really cool. I can make up to five of them, I believe. So you want to have improved arrows. Now what that does is adds extra feathers and gives the air more range and improved arrow flight and better penetration. So make as many as you can time. It's the split point all your pistol revolver as many as you can because that's extra cartridges. They're more explosive when they hit they do greater damage a lot more damage. I'll show you here in a minute. You can sit there 15 minutes and do that or not 15 minutes but do all you can. So let's let me show you something else here. I'll show you the difference on the bullet so you can make explosive bullets but you've got to have the cartridge and you got to have about body fat now the repeater and that's all i got right now but uh you can make fire bottles see with fat and you can add uh let's see horse ointment i don't know what that does i don't think i have any for its life it'll tell what it's for uh, fire bottle explosive uh i ain't got no revolver cartridge explosive. I guess I can make one or two. I guess they would really come in handy when you're uh, needing it, but the, I can't tell you, it's a, you got to do these split points, guys. So I got 159 of them at 89, so let's, all you got to do is hold the button down for maybe 15 seconds. I mean, everybody wants to run through this game, and I've seen on Rockstar Social Club and people talking about it, Especially Dez, if you go too fast, you're going to miss a lot of gameplay and a lot of fun. I'm going to enjoy the game myself and play it. I'm only, I mean, you know, I'm not in that big a hurry to complete something. The cigarettes actually helps you on your. So if you smoke a little of the cigarette, see, it brings it up. All right. So let's leave the campfire and let's continue on our pick up my new hat. Eh, I don't want that hat. It's got a big hole in it, don't it? I'll take my hat back, mister. Your hat's got your hat's kind of sucks. <laughs> I'll take my hat back. Now, switching bullets. So say I got the worn oh, I got a worn cattleman revolver. Okay, now if you want to fix that up, if you want to fix that up, all you got to do is uh, clean it or repair it. So it, it's pretty good. It just needs some stuff done to it. This Kettleman's a lot better than that. Now switching bullets, see? When you hold it onto the bullet you want, you could actually just switch like this, see? From split points to express to explosive. And I kind of like to, like you, I like to use the high velocity or the split points because they do more damage or express. The regular bullets are alright for like turkeys and stuff. So they're okay, you know. And the arrows, you got several different them. I mean, I haven't locked them all, but I got the regular improved, which is awesome to carry, and several flame, and that's explosive over there. I haven't got that recipe yet, but I will. I'm not planning on using that, though, but... I do like the improved air flight. So see my trusty steed, he stayed down there. And see I still got my tomahawk that I talked about earlier. I think it'd be great for bear, the big grizzlies. But the game is so much into it to immerse yourself into. I don't, you know, I'm not in a big hurry. So let's look for, I'll show you where that American ginseng is. Where ginseng, you know, I'm sure you will find it. 
I don't think that's a white tail. I think that's a uh, happens to be a just a regular elk. Wow, that's a horse. Wow. So that's a horse. What that is? That's a horse that I've. Oh shoot! Watch him. You know what that is? They're tough son of bitches. Oh yeah? Eat that wolf. Wolves are mean. I love them though. The legendary wolf is up in this area. I'll tell you the general area. Up in here. You see the wolf with a crown? That means it's a legendary animal. Anytime you see a crown above the animal's head, it's a legendary. There's a legendary fish right down here below your campsite, by the way. I think it's about right there. I keep getting a thing to say. The wolves are worth a lot of money. The hides. I, I got that one hide. It's worth it. gave me like 30 bucks. It was like a white wolf. There's some rare fur types in here too. I don't know if Rockstar has confirmed anything, but it's poor, but it'll give me a couple of dollars. Now, if you want to refer to a different game uh, way to big, make money in this game, the, I think the best way to make money is to do the little deal over to, if you go over to Emerald City after you unlock the fencing, the, the way to unlock all the, uh, I keep hearing snakes in the game, but, uh, Dead trees. That's kind of curious too. Anytime I see dead trees, got me curious in a game. I don't know why, but it just does. Now, right there, some herb, but we're not gonna worry about that wolf. He came out of nowhere. Now I'm gonna take you to the ginseng area. So let's kind of let's just kind of let every unless in unless in birds. Yeah. Now you want to take all your turkeys that you can. They'll flutter and fly and carry on. Where'd he go? I thought I hit that bird. Huh. But you want to get every turf throwing knife with the flight feathers on the birds. I hear wolves, so you want, might want to just kind of be careful of the wolves up in this general area. There's some big wolves up here. They're pretty fun. I'm going to leave it on the double barrel, too. That can come in handy. See, I got the slug unlocked, and that's kind of probably better for a bear. And probably need to. Uh, carbine, just in case I run something meter. Oh, uh, yeah. We're going to. Kind of activate it every now and then, just see if there ain't nothing in this area. I hear more yelping. So let me let me take you to the ginseng kind of quick before it gets too dark. We may have to set a camp and move to morning so you can see the stupid thing. Ginseng's everywhere in this area. You can find it, but like I say, back that in them years, it growed really in beds. I mean, but that's okay. Now there's a home you can rob. There's a beautiful little wabbit. Come on, wabby. Oh, wait on. Heck, he already ran out in front of me. Little sucker. There he goes. You're done. Try not to run him over. Try not to run him over, if possible. All right. If you run him over, it damages them. And then they ain't worth nothing. Come back here, Homer. My horse. I don't even know what I named this stupid thing. Good rabbit pelt. That'd bring good man. There is a little thing. You know, what do you do? Fall off the top? Idiot. If you set your camp up while you're on your, on your horse, it sets up differently.
You want to move off the road, I believe. Uh, probably because there's a home down there. I see some animals moving through. So when you set up the camp while you're on a horse, it'll put the lean-to out and a tent. And well, it didn't, so that's okay. So let's just uh, quickly sleep till uh, let's see, morning, nine hours, and then I can take you to the where the where the hewing uh, hatchet is. You want that hewing hatchet tomahawk because I think it's heavy, and you can use it to beat stuff. So like I say, just tear your camp up. I haven't bought the upgrade on the camp yet. I got a lot of money. I mean, you can get a lot of money. I had to pay off a heck of a bounty earlier, so that didn't help me any. <laughs> so I don't know where it put me. Where did it put me? Heck, that's the thing about this game. It's liable to put you... God knows when you set up camp, you don't know where it's going to set you. So we're almost there. Um, I just need to get back up on this hill somehow. Oh, it's downhill. Well, at least it's all downhill. Look, it set me above the hill. Oh, God. A little tricky, ain't it? Just got to be careful with your horse. Make sure there ain't no ginseng in the woods here. That's where you find a lot of the ginseng in the woods, around rocks. Actually, in all truthfulness, ginseng loves the north side hills. That's where your richest soil is. That's where it's wettest. So, I wish they would have talked to me about some of the ginseng. I could have told them a lot about it. I used to dig it back in my day with yellow root and herbs and stuff like that. Worth a little bit of money, in all honesty. Digging yellow root and ginseng, you can make some decent amount of money. Now, I'm going to take you here to this. Since the name of the video is American Ginseng, I mean, it would only be fair that... Oh, I will advise you... Yeah. Watch it. You want to mess with me, buddy? After I was kind enough to do that to you, <laughs> I showed him. Tuck all his money and just leave him out in the world. Maybe a bear will eat him. They don't show no X, so he's either, he, I think he's just knocked out. No, it's just, he'll probably wake up in a few minutes with a headache. <laughs> the knucklehead. Beautiful country up here. Oh, what's that? Oh, big bull elk. Nice. I'm not going to bother him. Let's continue on to the American ginseng. Now, I found a little bit of ginseng up in this area, but I can't remember them all. The only one place I can remember is because I was just recently at it. I suggest, though, that you don't ride the road to find ginseng. I guess they want you to immerse yourself in the game and really... Really explore the game out because there's so much into the game. The content is so big. I mean, I can't, I can't express the words enough to tell you how much content is in this game. Now I got my axe in the location where I, where I got this. 
I doubt there's another one there, but if you do lose it, you can come right back here and get you another one. Right here at this lake. A little lake right here. I haven't tried it on any of the animals or anything. I guess it'd be great for bear. If you if you get attacked by a bear. I did see a bear up here too. It's right here by this log campfire. And of course, see, it's not there. Oh yeah, it is there. See it? Yeah, it is there. See? I didn't say that, knucklehead. So you can't have more than one, in other words, see? You can't have more than one, in other words. You just can't have more than one, is all it is. I guess it's just here in case you lose it. You can refine. There's ginseng usually right over here. Huh. There it is. See it right there? There it is, right there. It looks just like ginseng too. It's right there. American ginseng. Apple field. You can eat it, pick it. I pick it because you can mix it in with uh, medicines and stuff. There should be more around too. See the craft items that replenish your health. So there's all kinds of things to find in this game. There's something up here. I'll take that turkey. Love them turkey feathers. Now if wolves or something get after you, be careful because you can lose your horse. I, I, like I said, I can't express enough to carry a horse reviver. I guess I need my bow. Thought I had it on me. Carry a carbine just in case. Not that, that would blow them all to pieces. A lot of rabbits in here. And it's weird up in here, man, this fog. Man, that's great, too, the fog and all that. It's such a great idea in the game. So let's make our way over the old, uh, I call him Old Trapper. Old Trapper. He gives you the best prices. So let's just go over to see him and say, Howdy there, old man. Give me some good money for my pelts. Yeah, don't rob him. If you rob him, it gives you bad, really bad credit. I don't know what that is. Now, here's another little tip. If you want to see animals and give you an idea of what to use on them, the Rocky Mountain Elk. He's a good elk, so he would give you good money. It tells you you can use a long scope rifle for a clean kill, like a, when you get to Carcano and all them, comes in handy. Howdy, partner. Funny GNC, mister.
fantastic. Yeah, sound like a woman. I didn't see it light up anything like that. The one good thing about all this is as you're out running around, I think the animals over. The only, like I say, the only thing you have to really be careful of is the wolves up in this neighborhood. One thing about the plants, they always throw off that stink. And the paw, and it's cool that the paw shows up. That's a red squirrel. I picked up my air. Okay, cool. You just put them in. Where the heck is old Trapper? Ah, oh, hell. I took the wrong road. Well, let's go back this way. Get back on track. Some deer. When it makes that pop noise, you know you made a good hit. I'll be on it. That's a dark ram. Well, that's cool. Mountain goats, female. Be a nice one to take in too, cause you get you can feed your starved to death crew really well. Like I say, it's best to use improved arrow. You get a better kill, and you know, oh my horse would be taken out of poop. I like to run because it builds your stamina up. Uh, and plus it gives you more chance to explore. And also it keeps your horse from uh, getting killed. I like to put it up on that. Plus it keeps your horse healthy. He's already carrying enough, I figure. These logged out area. You see what that was? I don't know if you've seen it. I think it was a Bob White quail. Yep. California quail. I think there's some stuff in here. Anytime you see timber trees like this. I like that. So see, there's an animal. How the hell I miss that? Miss that deer. He got me. Good job, Buck. Good job, Bucky. That's the thing when you get a good bomb with your horse, you don't have to worry about people stealing it too, because when they when they try to hijack your horse, you just whistle. And they get a big surprise, like that guy tried to do me. I think that's an elk. Now, if I was going to shoot an elk, I believe I would use improved. An improved flame, maybe a flame arrow even.
Oh, busted him. Nice shot on a bull elk. Right on live stream, too. That's what I like. That was awesome. I'll have to say that I'm glad I streamed that. Big bull elk. Yes. Perfect. Now my... There's black bear in the game, too. They're up in this area. They're just kind of hard to find. If it's a perfect air uh, pelt, I'm going to throw the other pelt down. You can only carry one. That's the wrong way to cut off antlers, too. Usually they eat skull. I could carry it, actually. I know it's a long way to carry a pelt, but I don't care. Get you some exercise. I need some exercise anyhow. <laughs> I don't really see nothing. I guess I just run on the road here until I get up to you up here. What's that up there? A square rock? Or a tent? I don't know if you see that on the stream or not, but it's right up. Oh, there's a deer right by it. What? It's a weird rock. What's a deer here? It's a weird rock. Now's the time to look around for anything good. Nope. And of course, there ain't. Continue onward, buddy. Working my guy's ass off, ain't I? <laughs> <laughs> it's cold up here so if you hit it you can see the temperature 52 and you gotta watch pails because they will spoil your meats will spoil and all that which mine's probably already lost their value I made it to him, the old trapper. Now, I've never really explored around this trapper, but I think there's some stuff around here that you could find. I'm selling, dude. So I got a bunch of stuff to sell him. A good elk pelt brings you 390. Don't seem like much, but you can buy a lot. Poor raw hot ram hide. Poor buck pelt. Good ram hide, two dollars. So that's a good sell. Don't sell none of your turkey feathers. Ah. Yep, yep. So maybe all but one. Some all maybe, but one. Yeah. I sell them all the antlers. Yeah, I don't really need it. I can get it. It'll just spoil on me if I don't get rid of it. So see right there, I brought my money up to $139. I don't think you can sell any of your herbs or anything. Unless it's a herbalist, I think, that you can sell your herbs to. And your jewelry, of course, is a fencer in part three. Uh, so keep your fat. Yeah, your flight feathers. Which is... Uh, so, see, I don't have no... Yeah. Oh, so he's wanting your, so when you get them rare animal skins, bring it to the trapper and you'll get rare money. All right. So I hope you enjoyed the stream. This is where the trapper is. If you want to get your pristine prices from like when you kill this trophy wolf up here in Calder Springs. He's right here. Bring him, bring him down to the old man trapper here. You can just come right down the road here like I did with your horse, gallop, full steam. Bring the whole body. Sell him the whole body. 
right there or any of them precious animals. But it's so thank you for watching. Have a good one. Hope this helps anybody out looking around or anything like that. Take care. Have a good one.